Here we're going to tie a fly called the Frenchie. First thing I'm going to do is just start off with a tungsten bead on the front of the fly. Then I'm going to use a feather called Coque de Leon. I mean, this is a tailing fiber. I'm going to use this for the tail of the fly. It has a natural mottled look to it. And I want this tail to be about the length of the shank, so I just kind of roughly measure that out. And I'm just going to tie that Coque de Leon right on top of the shank of the hook. And I'm going to take it all the way back to the bend. I'm going to take my thread forward, trim out the, the butt ends. Now the next thing to do is we're going to tie in our rib, which is just a small copper wire. I'm going to tie this in right on the side of the hook. I'm going to take it back all the way to the tail. Keep it nice and smooth. Now I'm ready for the body material. For that we're just going to use some pheasant tail fibers. I'm going to take a generous clump of about 10 fibers. I'm going to trim the tips so they're nice and blunt, easy to tie in. I'm just going to quickly tie these in right at the back. Try to do so with just a couple of wraps. Then I'm going to take my thread forward and I'm going to build just a slight taper to this body. So I'm going to go back once more. And I won't go all the way back to the tail. I'll stop just short. And I'll do the same thing once more and I'll stop even shorter. Right about there and I'll take it forward. Once more. And that'll just taper that body just a little bit, make it look a little more buggy. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that pheasant tail and I'm going to wrap it forward. I'm going to stop just short of that bead. And I can capture the fibers. Trim out the extra. Now we're going to take that wire, we're going to counter wrap it, we're going to wrap it the opposite way that I wrapped that pheasant tail. This will help lock the fibers into place and keep them from coming unraveled. And I can capture the copper wire. And to remove the copper wire, I just simply twist it. Now the last thing to do is to add the, the collar. For that, I'm going to use some shell pink ice dubbing. You could use other colors. You can use orange, red, but I'm going to use some shell pink here. We're going to dub this collar very, very tight. What I mean by that is I'm going to dub this ice dub as tight to the thread as I possibly can which is not easy to do with synthetic dubbing but I just twist it on there as hard as I can. I'm just going to build up a little collar and all I'm going to do is whip finish right behind the bead. Let your red thread kind of show through. And that's all there is to a tungsten Frenchie. Very effective fly. A lot of people use it in check nymphing, but you can also traditional nymph with it. Got a little bit of flash to it, a little bit of color, but it still has that buggy look. And that's all there is to the tungsten Frenchie.